everyone! Welcome to today's exciting episode of the Technicolor Mike Beaver Show. Yes, we are renaming it the Mike Beaver Show because the beaver is today's design theme. So how is it going? It is Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. You know, I don't really think I've done a beaver. Um, I've done a groundhog. That might be the same thing. But, um, that was today's design sketch. Sort of kept to the design pretty closely. Yep, so we're doing the beaver. We're going to attempt a beaver balloon. And we'll have some beaver jokes. So let's get started. We have our handy dandy balloon inflation device right at hand. We have a bunch of balloons to choose from. So we can pick our first balloon and get started. So what did the beaver say to the tree? Yes, what did the beaver say to the tree? He said, it's been nice gnawing ya. Yes, it's been nice gnawing ya. Um, I guess the beaver maybe was done for the day. Just had to um, finish up and go home for the evening, relax, watch some TV. And well, he's a polite beaver, so he just, yeah, he had made a little conversation with the tree and said, nice gnawing ya. Don't know that the tree really enjoyed the beaver's company. It seemed that tree had been saying, leave me alone. Yes, just leave me alone. So here is the beaver's head, or at least part of the head. We'll obviously have to add in some brown. Color it up a bit. What is a beaver's favorite math topic? Yes, beavers don't like math all that much, but when the teacher gets onto this one topic, the beavers really do start to pay attention. And that would be when the teacher is talking about log. A rhythms. Yes, log a rhythms. Yes, I don't know if the beavers noticed the rhythms part, but it definitely pays attention when the logs are mentioned. So where do beavers keep their money? Yes, beavers do have money. Everyone needs to have some money. They probably um, get a few dimes here and there from people that um, drop them while hiking in the woods. So um, yeah, the beavers, when they get some money, they keep them in the river's bank. Yes, the river's bank. They just swim over to the nearest bank and deposit the money. So how does a beaver know how many trees it will need for its beaver dam? Yes, beavers will be building their dams as much as possible. And um, you obviously need the right number of trees. Don't need to waste time on extra trees, do ya? So yeah, the beavers just keep a log of how many trees they've chopped and how many more are needed, depending on if they wanted one bedroom, two bedroom, or three. Yep. So here is our beaver's head. Yes, he's got his two buck teeth. Um, we'll color some eyes in. What is the opposite of a waterfall? Yes, what is the opposite of a waterfall? The beaver um, creates a big enough dam. He might actually create a waterfall um, situation. But the opposite would be a firefly. Yes, 
fire is the opposite of water, and flying is definitely the opposite of falling. So firefly is the opposite of the waterfall. So what did the beaver say after his home was destroyed by the flood? Yeah, poor guy, he lost his, his home, his dam, everything in it, in the flood. Well, he just said, not a darn thing. And yep, he was um, taught not to say those things, so he said, not a darn thing. He had such good manners, that beaver. So yep, here is part of the body. We'll give him some legs to stand on. And then we'll work on the tail for him to slap some mud around. So why did the beaver want to get a PhD? Yes, that beaver had some extra time on his hand and he thought he could get a PhD. Well, he did it because he wanted to be a smart feller. Yes, just a smart tree feller. Yeah, all the other beavers would be jealous of him if he was so smart. Such a smart feller he was. So yeah, we're um, gonna make this beaver standing up. That way, um, he can reach the higher points in the tree and knock it over. What is a beaver's favorite snack? Yes, maybe it's um watching some TV and decides it's gonna have a snack. What's it gonna look for? Well, I think they just enjoy some wood chips. Yeah, nice sturdy tail. Did you hear about the beaver who got a promotion? Yes, the beaver had a job building construction of dams and he got a promotion. He became the branch manager. Yes, they needed a new branch manager to supervise the construction of the newest dams. It was a good job for him. Come on. Real tight. Yeah, it's got his tail so he can go patting things and let's attach the head. Snap this one off. What does a new study say about beavers? Yes, scientists have been studying the beavers for a while. Oop. Pop more than I want it. That's okay, we can replace that piece. We have scraps. Yes. What does a new study say about beavers? It says they can they cause extensive flooding, and the evidence against them is quite hmm darn yes quite a lot of darn evidence that they will um cause flooding. How does a beaver become famous when well, he shows up on the Technicolor Mike B show? That's one way to become famous, but in general they become famous if they have a live stream. Yes, lots of followers of his live stream. So let's snap this piece off without popping the rest of the balloon. So 
how do trees walk? Yes, the trees can walk. They walk, well, they sort of lumber along. Yes, they sort of lumber along. How does a beaver get on the internet? Yes. How does he get on the internet? Well, he just logs right in. So here is our cute little beaver um, ready to uh, go gnawing at that tree out by the river and starting his newest beaver dam. So this has been Technicolor Mike B on this Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Yes, it is just a few days until Thanksgiving. All of the Black Friday sales have already started. Um, I'm sure the Cyber Monday sales have started as well. So until next time, see you later. Alligator, after a while, crocodile.